What's happening YouTube? KP Tutorial 10 Enumeration Using Git Host by Address Part 2 Logo Assignment It's time to add some logos to our nodes Okay So if we pick up where we left off What we have is um, We've just obtained the host name hopefully If, if it's resolved um, By using the socket module Okay And now we're just going to um, assign a variable And I'm just gonna call it choose logo. Okay. And all we have to do is ask if any of the items in our list above is in our host name. And then we can um, just cross cross reference cross reference it with the list. Okay. And basically, what we're gonna do is take the first item. Um, from that particular list. So it's a list of lists. A list of lists of lists. Okay, so we do a 4i in self.logos. And then um, for making i, or you could just put for item in that list, if make.lower, right? So we format the text because the first item in each of the lists has a capital letter, so it just formats better on the um, on the nodes itself. So if make dot lower is in the host name, and actually I think I'm going to change this variable name to button. So we're going to name it choose button. So choose button. So if make dot lower is in host name, choose button equals I, and then the first item in that list. Okay. So for example, if uh, for example iPad is in the in the in the host name of the device, it will look up the list and it will assign Apple as the manufacturer. Okay. So. We come down here. Just have a little look here. Here's some code for the um, next tutorial, and here's some code I prepared earlier. I've just formatted the text a little bit um, better. Obviously, you can do what you like with it, guys. You can uh, make it whatever color you want. You can format it if you want the IP at the bottom or the Mac at the top or whatever. Okay. Whatever you think is relevant, whatever you think is important, put it on the on the node list so you get the information you need. Now pause the video. Read the code we have written so far. Why is it going to crash when we run the ARP scan now? Okay, I've left something out. Um, I've left something out of the ARP thread. What is it? And I'm going to find out in a minute. And it's going to crash because I didn't pass uh, self.logos as an argument into the thread. So Python's asking me, what is self.logos? Do you think I'm telepathic or something? So we have to um, let Python know what self.logos actually is. So let's uh, pass it here in the argument. As logos and let's do a self dot logos equals logos see how fast I can say that self dot logos equals logos not bad not bad I'm, I'm thinking of starting a, a little rap group and I'm gonna be the lead singer of course I'm joking I've got to stop drinking this coffee man <laughs> right so self dot node list and we pass that as an argument as well, self.logos, and that should be all good. Okay. Now what we do, we just copy this because we're going to have, um, obviously you're going to have as many makes OSs that you want to cross-reference as you want. Okay, I think I've got four or five, maybe six. So we're just going to cut and copy, and all we have to do is change the first string and then obviously change the image that we want to apply to that variable so if it's an apple 
apply the apple ping png okay and do an lf if choose button is equal to windows give me a windows picture okay now it's going to make the uh, graphical user interface look a, a lot cleaner i think i think it looks pretty cool so we do another lf and what else have we got we've got the gateway we've got linux let's do linux let's just apply linux down here now all the images are there in the description guys all right so feel feel free to use them if you want to make your own then call cool. i encourage you to do so and let's put gateway and then obviously gateway okay now this uh this tool is starting to look a bit mean it's starting to come together there's a lot more to come as well um, and the way i've constructed these tutorials as well is obviously if you follow follow them one by one by the end of it you should have something that that's pretty cool and um, I hope you're enjoying it guys so let's run that let's run a little if config and I've made another mistake oh yes we're gonna find out why in a minute and as you've noticed I'm not cutting this out I'm not editing it okay I don't mind making mistakes that's fine it's fine with me so we've got an android device here but it hasn't uh, assigned the right logo why why isn't it done so so let's work this out so all this looks good let's go up here so it's good now this is actually me trying to work out what's going on I'm pulling my hair out what's left of it <laughs> so let's go up if you want to pause the video you've probably spotted it already I haven't okay there you go that's the issue right now Android Android <laughs> so I thought uh, maybe putting uh, putting it down lower trying that obviously it's still not gonna work but um, after a couple more looks I managed to figure out that I've spelled Android wrong wrongly Right, let's just run this, a few more threads. Okay, and what have we got here? We don't seem to have an Android device there, but there you go. He's figured it out, give him a prize. What has he won? Okay, and let's just delete the last item in there because we don't need that. Okay, now that should be fine so let's just double check this everything's okay if it's equal to an empty string obviously it's an unknown it's a ufo right so let's run and there we go we've got the android logo we've got windows logo which is assigned to the ip that i assigned it to uh, a bit of cheating there because I know what the IP of my Windows machine is and it hasn't got anything um, to derive that it's a Windows machine but we will go into um, how to do that and that looks pretty cool okay uh, obviously using the OUIs we haven't done that yet we've gone through it but we haven't implemented it into into the tool yet but we will do okay also coming up we're going to save um, our results as well and then we can move on to some port scans and some pretty cool stuff okay so i hope you enjoyed it guys thanks for watching 
Thank you for the support. If you like what we watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.